Greg, G-R-E-G. My name's Greg, G-R-E-G, Packer, P-A-C-K-E-R. I'm running to New York. I've been a lifelong New Yorker. I just love all the sights and the happenings of the city. Put an order in. Okay. Uh, let me get the, uh, the uh, extra lean corned beef. Let me get the uh, cherry coke with that. No problem. Right, Some will say, I know who you are. Some will say, I've heard about you before. Uh, some don't do an interview, but it's not promised that I'll be in a publication. It depends who I'm talking to. I don't exactly remember what year it was, but I guess it just grew on me. Everybody seems to enjoy adventure. I like adventure, so why not keep going? Thank you. been interested in like big events and celebrity visits and the concerts and games and parades and other related special happenings. It was just, uh, you know, like a different way of telling my parents what I've been up to, other members of my family what I've been up to, and, and of course my friends what I've been up to. I would never collect my quotes, but I always like the internet, you know, collecting the quotes for me. So when I, so when I plug in Greg Packer, you know, I would look and see what was there. If somebody actually collected articles and put together their own scrapbook of my articles, they would get a sense of me as a person. When, when the iPhone first came out, I was at the Apple Store uh, Monday. It came out Friday. I walked in, I said, you know, where's the line start? Nobody knew what to do at the time. I was outside for five days. I went up there and put my time in. There were some guys from uh, a website called Prizebook. They see me talking to many people in the media, so they figure they'll maybe use my advertising expertise. They made a deal with me. Wear our shirt, promote our site, and we'll pay for the first phone. So I took them up on their offer. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the iPhone 5 I got rid of because I already had the iPhone 4. So, and I'm not one to, you know, keep switching iPhones every time there's a new iPhone. I like to make them last. My dad used to own a uh, wholesale candy store. As a little kid, it was, it was great growing up around all the candy. Having all the candy you wanted, just like maybe go through the boxes and plus take a piece here, take a piece there. I had free reign on the candy. My favorite would be uh, M&M's. I've had a couple of problems with Ann Coulter. I had two problems with her. Uh, the first problem was when um, was when she um, mentioned me in her book behind my back. She always had like names of one kind or another for everybody, and I was one of those. And um, she happened to be at this book signing, a book review, and I had a few words with her. When I confronted her, two of her bodyguards got in front of me while Sean Hannity told me to calm down, calm down. Ann Coulter knew who I was. She knew that I was, you know, quote, somebody seeking attention, end quote. It's been very hard to be in the newspaper lately because I've noticed more and more that reporters know who I am. Some reporters are amused and some give me the brush off. So it's becoming harder as, it, as time goes on. I remember what the AP wrote about me very well. What AP did was they made a list of things that they quoted me at. They sent that out to, to all their reporters worldwide. And so they said, to be, let's be eager to quote, quote other people too. I 
I've never been married at all. I've always been single all my life. Never had any kids. I have two sisters and a brother in my family, and everybody is married. Everybody has their their own families, and everybody has their own lives. No different than me having my own life. I don't see them that much I mean, because they're all busy with their lives. But you know, we do keep in touch every chance you know, that we get. I think they're impressed not only by my quotes of the paper, but they're also impressed that you know I'm just occupying my time and thinking of the next things to do. I guess I've dreamed I've always dreamed of doing something like this now and just you know dreamed of always knowing where the spots would be. I absolutely felt like I wanted to be, you know part of the coolest things to do. And I view myself and my adventures as a legacy. I just feel that living my life is important. And just being just being alive is important. And that's all I can ask. In some ways I do feel immortal. 